Welcome to the second chapter of this course. Now, when we understand the basics of what is meant with actual costing in SAP, it's time to start digging into material ledger related configuration. In this chapter, I will go through all the necessary configuration setups that need to be maintained for our example scenario. It's time to finally open the system and start exploring the key settings related to material ledger functionalities. But before we start going through the material ledger configuration, let's take a quick look at our organizational structure from a controlling point of view. I will be using existing organizational data already maintained in the IDES environment. This will save us a huge amount of time that we can use to concentrate on the actual topic of this course. But as we will notice during this course, there is some important configuration and master data missing in IDES that we need to maintain in order to make our example scenario work. So this is what the organization structure for our subsidiary in China looks like. All these enterprise structure components have been already maintained and linked with each other in IDES, so we do not need to create any of them. All of our manufacturing will be happening in this plant here. Valuation area has been defined to be on a plant level. Here you can see a summary of the configuration we will be reviewing during this course. I have divided the configuration into three sections. In the first section, we will be examining what settings need to be maintained for currency and valuation profiles and for controlling versions. In the second section, we will be reviewing material ledger specific configuration and checking how material ledger is linked with valuation areas. In the third section, we will go through how actual costing is activated and how valuation areas are set as productive. At first, it might seem that there is a huge amount of material ledger and actual costing related configuration in the system. But as we go through the different screens, you will see that most of the configuration settings are actually quite simple and very quick to maintain. So compared to many other SAP modules, maintaining the necessary settings for material ledger is pretty straightforward. Without any further delay, let's log into the system and start our journey to the very core of the material ledger.